Hello and welcome to the in new series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pooja Devedi. Today we are going to talk about a recurring topic that is actually a menace to India. The air pollution specifically in Delhi and Delhi NCR region. Days before this, we also talked about graded response action plan in our in-depth series. I will attach the description uh, link in the description box of it. Go and see that and this. Okay. So if you see these two things, you will have a pretty great idea on what are the causes for the pollution in Delhi and Delhi NCR region and what is GRAP plus other initiatives that I have covered over here. So environmental crises in Delhi, a recurring topic. What is the news, current scenario? What are the factors responsible, the general outlook with respect to air pollution in Delhi? Initiatives that have been undertaken to curb this, but we can see that not a very significant achievement India has done here. Way forward and the question in the last. So, Delhi News Live updates as it were, it is the recent one that I have taken. Construction activities stopped across Delhi because these construction activities are adding to the pollution and air quality index has dipped to severe. Moving ahead, let's talk about what has actually happened in Delhi right now. Since October 31st, 2022 night, we have witnessed a drop in the air quality of Delhi and it degraded to severe category. And then we know when severe category, uh, before um, severe category could be achieved, the GRAP was already in its work because it had its kickstart ahead of whatever pollution issue could arise in the near future. GRAP was already started way back. Delhi's 24-hour average air quality index was 403 at 10 p.m. on Monday, which was up from 392. And recently, we see that the air quality index has dipped to 418. So it is being seen that a higher air quality index value, it indicates that there is more pollution. Okay, moving ahead, what is happening with the people? People are taking on Twitter to vent out their rage towards government inaction. Specifically, if we see the news back uh, a few days back, it was seen that after Diwali, after 24th of October, there was not a huge shoot in the pollution level of Delhi. But recently, people are blaming the government for not taking care of the stubble burning. They are saying that stubble burning is also an issue. Why do you always blame Diwali? Although Diwali firecrackers do add to the pollution, this is something nobody can avoid. But there are many other aspects. The government is saying, close down the schools. If it is possible for you to work from home, do that. Do the carpooling thing if you want to, you know, transport yourself from home to work. These kind of, you can say, directions or directives have been given by the government. Construction activities have been stopped. Citizens are choking to death. Many are saying that in the next five years, we are all going to die of lung cancer with tar in our lungs. What is this problem? We have to understand. Many of you must be living in Delhi as well. Factors which are responsible specifically for pollution in Delhi and Delhi NCR region. Okay. So Delhi NCR region, this is from burningcompass.com. I have taken out this image and this image is pretty authentic in nature when we talk about Delhi NCR. So from Uttar Pradesh, from Haryana and Rajasthan, there are certain districts that form a part of Delhi National Capital Region. These are also known as satellite regions. So from UP, we have Shamli, Muzaffarnagar, Bagpat, Meerut, Ghaziabad, Hapur, Gautam Buddha Nagar and Buland Shahar in the Delhi NCR region. From Rajasthan, we have Tijra, Bhairor, Nimrana. These are a part of Alwar. And then from uh, Bharatpur, we have Halina, Kumher and Bharatpur as well. From Haryana, we have Karnal, Panipat, Sonipat, Rohtak, Jajjar, Gurgaon, Faridabad, Palwal, Revadi, uh, Mahendragar, Dadri and of course Bhivani, many other, Jind as well. So these areas as you see, these areas which form a part of Delhi NCR are majorly related to agricultural activities and stubble burning 
if we talk about the anthropogenic causes trouble burning is one of the reasons where we see adding to the pollution as paddy after the harvest of paddy whatever stubble is left it is burned because it takes a lot of time to use happy cedars according to some farmers turbo happy cedars it is easier to burn them off so this is one of the reasons which are anthropogenic but geographical and natural reasons first of all because delhi and delhi ncr is basically a landlocked region and this is the one of the causes because there is no sea breeze to take away the pollution from there plus winters high pressure area it creates a low uh, winter uh, when winter approaches the october november time there is a high pressure and we all know whenever a high pressure is created the wind start flowing from westerly regions even from afghanistan and pakistan this region attracts winds and what happens that when this, uh, this these winds come they also bring a lot dust and the himalayas then obstruct the escape of the air and which results in stagnating or a stagnant mass of air with dust and pollution in it smog is created these are the natural regions then we have anthropogenic delhi ncr a hub of huge population so it because of vehicular traffic as people are stuck in traffic for a long period of time and they do not switch off their combustion what happens Na, in many important greenhouse gases they get of course emerged from the combustion process and stay there first that and this was seen after diwali as well when certain arterial roads were choking with jams and people did not put their combustion off of their of course vehicles so pollution shoot uh, has occurred after that as well according to some analysts and unplanned urban development plus waste disposal is also one of the reasons fossil fuel combustion which is of course in here only but um, delhi ncr right now might be seeing specifically delhi region might be seeing that Uh, the temperatures are drop, dropping at the night time so biomass when uh, the people who live along the road side they take refuge in whatever fire they could find so with help of that as well we see that pollution occurs stubble burning is the major cause in the neighboring and agricultural state use of fire crackers are also significant contributors it might not be at all of a sudden but it has definitely contributed moving ahead let's talk about the factors responsible re recent ones indian institute of tropical meteorology meteorology's decision support system is the main uh, data source from whatever data has been collected by cse and dss modeling uses an existing emission inventory prepared by the energy and resource institute inventory is being updated this year moving ahead if we talk about the major cause vehicles these are a contributors the major contributors to delhi air pollution more than about more than half of the delhi's air pollution around 51% of the national capital own contribution to only pm25 levels and this is from october 21st to 26th ncr districts and biomass burning to air pollution in delhi's region so biomass plus stubble burning vehicles contributed around 17% of the pm2.5 concentration and this is i am talking about the delhi ncr region this is only from delhi okay moving ahead let's talk about the daily share of vehicular emissions over the week 49.3% to 53% residential sources at 13% then comes industries and then comes construction the overall share of combustion sources also are found to be higher that means there are many sources of combustion as we compare them to the last years from many sources we are able to find that fossil fuels energy all these are increasing the amount of pollution so more pollution is also attributed to this delhi's own sources are around 32.9% with respect to combustion sources ncr district is likely to have been around 32.8% very close and biomass burning contributed to around 9.5% so here are the details there are uh, many questions with respect to national air quality index as well national air quality index was launched under swachh bharat abhiyan and it was done so in 2014 it works on the concept of one number one color one description as the categories are divided into six categories and the scheming of it was proposed by iit kanpur and the expert group okay 
So remember this. As we see this graph, air quality index is divided into six categories. Good, satisfactory, moderately poor, poor, very poor and severe. So Delhi stands here. Alright. So how many pollutants does it measure? It measures eight pollutants. Particulate matter 10, particulate matter 2.5. Ground level ozone, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, ammonia and lead. So remember all this. It could be asked in your presence. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if we talk about the overall aspect of pollution conditions in Delhi, it typically worsens in October, November, mostly because of an increase in fire counts due to stubble burning. It starts to improve by March, April. And if we talk about 2021 capital city rankings with respect to which city stood, which city from what country has stood in the top 10 with respect to pollution levels, New Delhi from India was at the top, which was gauging the annual, average annual particulate matter 2.5. Then comes Dhaka from Bangladesh, then Najmina from Chad, Dushanbe from Tajikistan, Muscat from Oman, Kathmandu from Nepal. Manama from Bahrain, Baghdad from Iraq, Bishkek from Kyrgyzstan and Tashkent from Uzbekistan. No country met WHO air quality guidelines for P2.5, which is an actual problem, not for only India. Of course, for India, it has New Delhi at the top, but apart from that as well. Moving ahead, let's talk about this crash course, which is going to start from tomorrow. Please, if you have uh, joined, if you have qualified prelims, do join it for 67th BPSC means crash course this is via the drishti learning app in the online mode and we have reduced the fees from 30000 to 22000 you will be provided 200 plus hours of classes and each day you will get two classes for six days in a week and you will be able to watch those classes unlimited amount of times the validity is up to one year so if you want to know more about it you can call on the given numbers it's starting from tomorrow only 4th of november Moving ahead, air pollution in Delhi, again World Air Quality Report came in 2020 in which Delhi has been listed as the 10th most polluted city and the top polluted capital city in the world. In July 2020, Greenpeace, which is an NGO, has said that Delhi bore the highest economic cost of air pollution because whenever such things happen, as you see, factories, construction factories plus other things are also being closed down. So economic capacity of the city also gets paralyzed. Moving ahead, apart from these, Outdoor and household air pollution has been at an all time, you can say high, 1.67 million around annual deaths were registered from heart attack, lung disease, any other disease which is, which is with respect to air pollution has been uh, recorded in this according to State of Global Air 2020 in 2019 and that was 1.67 million. Moving ahead, let's talk about initiatives that have been undertaken in 2019 to raise awareness for the about the importance of air quality national clean air program was started in 2019 the commission for air quality management has also been created to it is an overarching body and it supersedes with respect to the decision that is uh, taking place in case of pollution in these in delhi and ncr region it supersedes cpcb as well okay turbo happy cedar which actually takes into account a more sustainable practice of seeding out the stubble rather than burning it has been subsidized but not yet affordable for every farmer. Electric vehicles or even schemes and certain emergency measures are also uh, undertaken for this problem. But the problem here is when we talk about electric vehicles, have you ever thought where do we get our electricity from right now? It's from fossil fuel, coal. So if there will be an increase of electric vehicles, that means we also will have to need more coal until and unless India gets onto renewable track. So that can also be a problem, short term problem, if not long term. Construction of the East and Western Peripheral Expressway so that congestion is reduced and vehicles move faster and they do not lead to uh, greenhouse gas combustion. Graded response action plan has kicked before the start of the dipping of air quality. But still, we can see it's still not achieved what it should. So GRAP, I will provide you with the link of it. Now, what is the way forward? Electric vehicles and electric buses and CNG, these are our short term savior. But for long term, coal should be replaced with renewable energy sources for electricity. Green hydrogen mission is also one of those. Cedars for small and marginal farmers should be provided at a more affordable cost. For this, in, uh, we have uh, investment problem. 
for this we need more investment engage more private sector until and unless private sector is much more engaged here and of course local volunteers are not raising awareness with respect to stubble in the areas it's of course a lot for us and coordination means coordination is needed not blaming each other from the delhi ncr states okay moving ahead let's talk about our question which of the following pollutants is not gauged by the air quality index ozone ch4 that is methane so2 and nh3 you have to tell me in the comment segment that's it thank you so much for watching